Hello everyone. On the inspiring word today, I want to talk to you on the topic, Remember the Sabbath Day. It's one of the Ten Commandments found in Exodus chapter 20 verse 8, where God commands His children, the Israelites, to remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Here they were required to work for six days and to rest on the seventh day. Now while this command was observed by the Israelites on a weekly basis, I do believe that a greater Sabbath day is approaching. So let's have a quick look at our timeline. From the time of Adam to our present day. From the time of Adam's creation to Jesus is approximately 4,000 years. And from Jesus' time to our present day is approximately 2,000 years. This makes man's existence on earth a span of approximately 6,000 years. Now, let's look at the, our timeline from a different perspective. According to 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 8, we find that one day with the Lord is as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. Using this formula of 1,000 years equal one day, we will now see the timeline of 6,000 years almost making one week. So beginning from Adam, we count down from 4000 BC to 3000 BC. So the first 1000 year would be just one day. And from 3000 to 2000 BC, we would have the second day. From 2000 BC to 1000 BC, we have the third day. And from 1000 BC to 1 BC is the fourth day. You will notice that there is no zero day on the calendar. So in counting up, we count from 1 AD to the year 1000 AD, and this would make the fifth day. And from 1000 AD to 2000 AD would be the sixth day. Now, because the calendars have not been all accurate, I have chosen to use approximate dates. However, it is clear to me that we are at the closing stages of the sixth day, which tells me that the seventh day is approaching. But just before the seventh day Sabbath begins, the church will be translated. A period of great tribulation will bring an end to the reign of evil on earth, death and hell as Christ will return with the saints and set up his eternal reign here on earth. This seventh day will be Christ's 1,000 years reign of peace. Evildoers, the beast, the false prophet will be cast into the lake of fire along with death and hell for a thousand years and Satan will be bound in the bottomless pit for the same period. Here the saints of the ages, the true church, and the elect saints that will be saved during the tribulation will all be with Jesus on the seventh day, where there will be no more sickness, no more death. The seventh day is the rest promised by Jesus in St. Matthew 11 verse 28, where he says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. The seventh day will be a holy time of 1,000 years of righteousness, peace, love, and joy. My friends, if you're watching this and you're not saved, please accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior while you have this opportunity and serve Him faithfully. A reward of eternal life and abundant blessing awaits us as believers. So God bless you. And remember the Sabbath. We're going to keep it holy. In Jesus' name.